Y'all, weather can sometimes be pretty darn scary, especially when we talk about things like the parade of storms that's about to march through the central U.S., bringing hail, heavy rains, and damaging winds. Or the fact that, as predicted, hurricane season is about to come out of its hibernation, seemingly on the wrong side of the bed as things are popping off in the Atlantic right now. But the weather can also be quite calming and uplifting. Check out this beautiful video I captured the other day after a rain shower in Kentucky. My son and I got to enjoy this beautiful rainbow and take this priceless picture all because of this crazy thing we get to experience here on earth we call weather that same mechanism however is going to be causing a lot more problems than rainbows across the central u.s over the next several days many of you guys have been in a period of calm weather but that all changed yesterday as a dip in the jet stream sparked the first of several rounds of big time thunderstorms the twin cities area got hit hard yesterday as a few tornado warnings were issued and 21 reports of damaging winds were sent in while tons of people at the minnesota state fair were caught off guard without shelter now Hopefully you, the one watching this, isn't going to get stuck out in the middle of nowhere with no shelter because you have been warned. Today, if you live in the dark green or yellow areas, there's going to be some big time thunderstorms once again. And these are actually going to be bigger than the ones we saw yesterday. Let's take a look at what these bad boys could look like as we continue to talk about this parade of storms that's coming through. 2 p.m. today, we got some leftover thunder boomers coming through areas just west of St. Louis. Those are going to die out, but we're going to see some new storms form up here here in Minnesota around 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern. That's going to be 7 or 8 p.m. Central. Check this out, y'all. This looks like a springtime setup as several supercells may be possible in the beginning stages of these storms. This is why the Storm Prediction Center also has a 5% chance of tornadoes out here. These storms will be working into an environment that could produce some rotating thunderstorms as they head back towards the Twin Cities region and then up into Duluth, northern portions of Minnesota, even up into Canada towards Thunder Bay. As we get into 1 a.m., 2 a.m., even 3 a.m. in the morning tomorrow, we could still be seeing some big-time severe weather from Wisconsin all the way up into the UP of Michigan. But of course, those storms will die off eventually as well. Now, that's round two. I wouldn't be calling this a parade if we didn't have a round three and four. Check it out. As that frontal boundary moves through, we're going to see new storms form tomorrow, Monday, around 4 or 5 p.m. up here around Chicago, back into Iowa, into Illinois and Michigan. And once again, these could be some big time thunder boomers with damaging winds and a very 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 slight chance of tornadoes but yeah this could turn into a big nasty line with widespread damaging wind gusts all the way down into indianapolis springfield back towards st louis by 10 p.m tomorrow night and as the sun goes down those will also die out a little bit but wait there's more if we come over to the euro model we can go even further into the future and look at tuesday around 5 p.m more storms in this area right here you can see that really well on the instantaneous flash rate we're gonna have more thunderstorms and that could even go into Wednesday as well up here in the extreme northeastern portion of the US so a parade of storms man and what's the surprising finale you say is it gonna be this period of very quiet weather after this cold front sweeps through no it's not gonna be that is it gonna be these leftover rain showers down here in Texas as we get into next weekend no it's not going to be that it is this bad boy down here you can see him just a little bit better there on the GFS. That's right, the tropics are waking up. We have almost made it to the midway point of hurricane season, and it looks like we're going to finish August on a historically quiet note. But as we go into September, there's a lot of activity starting to show up on the models. Conditions are rapidly changing in the tropical Atlantic right now. African easterly waves are starting to look more intense and wind shear is starting to let up over a large portion of the main development region. The National Hurricane Center agrees with me as they have put out forecasts for a few disturbances across the Atlantic, most notably in the central Atlantic where a 70% chance of tropical development could occur in the next five days. There are a lot of places in the main development region that we have to watch as we have big areas of thunderstorms forming and African easterly waves coming off and interacting with them, producing maybe multiple spinny boys. Elsewhere, the GFS shows a tropical cyclone developing in the Southern Caribbean late next week where abundant moisture content is forecast to overlap with decreasing wind shear. And this thing's gonna move over the Yucatan Peninsula and then into the very warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico where it is going to strengthen. This is one we really have to watch because it's storms like this that often actually end up impacting the US. While the GFS has been flip-flopping a lot with the track of this storm, the model has been consistently forming it over the Southern Caribbean before moving into the 
the Gulf. Other models have not predicted a very strong storm here, but they are acknowledging at least a weak signal for development in this general area. However, the GFS continues to show a strong storm here. It, we don't know if it's going to go towards Mexico or kind of go up into the heart of the Gulf of Mexico and really strengthen and go to Florida, Louisiana, Texas, or somewhere in that region. But the consistency between each model run and the convergence of different models forecasting a few tropical systems that aren't off in 240 hour La La Land only confirms what I've been saying for weeks now that the tropics are heating up and we're really starting to see that spark right now. Now there's a lot going on here. We have a lot of systems to watch, but as we get closer, especially once we get within a week or five or six days of one of these storms actually forming and taking its path, we're gonna know a whole lot more about these things. Predicting tropical cyclones becomes a whole lot easier once you get in that five day range. So at that point, we will no longer be speculating and we will be forecasting with daily video updates and potentially even live streams if needed. But guess what? You don't even need me, okay? You can track these hurricanes by yourself if you want to. All you need is a high-end professional radar, weather modeling, and satellite imagery app. And these days, it's actually super easy to get thanks to our sponsor. Let's check them out. Radar Omega, the best weather app, no cap. Radar Omega is a professional radar app that meteorologists use, storm chasers use, I use, and you can use on your phone, iOS, or Android. And with a subscription, you can actually use it on your PC. It's what I use during live streams. This is the most powerful storm tracking app. App. Radar Omega provides you with high quality NEXRAD radar data to keep you alert on rapidly changing weather conditions. Not only can you look at radar, but you get your warnings, your severe weather outlooks, and also all kinds of other data through this app. My favorite thing is you can look at satellite data in 3D. And in fact, you can look at model data, radar data, and all that in 3D. And like, how cool is that? I was a big fan of them long before they sponsored me. And I just want people to have this in their toolbox because I believe it's a life-saving product. So what do you wait? for hit those links down in the description for ios or android to download radar omega today you will not regret it i can promise you that now let's get back into the video if for whatever reason you don't follow me on twitter you don't know that i'm in the middle of moving right now we're still in kentucky we're just moving to a different house in the same city but that means that this is likely going to be one of the last times you see this studio behind me you can see i've got a little bit of a mess back here it's going to get messier before it gets better uh, but i'm in the the process of building a new studio it's going to be much bigger much better and it's going to help me produce much better content so bear with me at the lighting and everything's a little janky i'm sure you've already noticed a little bit of this going on uh, but we'll eventually be fully in the new studio here within the next couple weeks and i'm super excited for you guys to see it in fact if you don't follow me on twitter or instagram or facebook or any of these other platforms please do because i'm going to be posting a lot of videos and pictures of the new setup build and uh, and it's just gonna be really fun. My name is Ryan Hall, y'all, everywhere, okay? Super huge shout out to all of our members over here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the channel. I just wanna take a brief moment and say thanks to everybody, member or not. If you're a subscriber, if you just come and watch my videos every time I upload one, or if you come to the live streams, thank you so much for being here and supporting what I do and giving me what I consider the best job in the world. This is what I've always wanted to do. And the fact that I can hire people, employ people, get office space, and build a big fancy weather studio and make it cool and not have to wear a suit and not have to shave my beard and worry too much about you know stupid stuff is literally a dream come true for me and I couldn't do it without you guys so thank you I don't do this enough it usually it's a traditional youtuber thing to start crying and, and, and thanking their viewers I'm not gonna cry for you but thank you so much I just want you to know that I do appreciate you and I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that this continues to grow for you so it gets better and that we're always here for you okay that was a really long outro okay bye <laughs>